Have you ever been to a website before where the, when you click on an image, um, the, the rest of the page fades out and the image overlays onto the um, page? Well, this is useful for portfolios and sh showing screenshots of of something and just focusing the user's attention so that when they click on the image all they're looking at is the image that's what we're going to show how to do today in Drupal in a very s simple way now here I have an image node and it's just built with the image module and it's got a preview image and then that's the full sized image so what if we wanted to when they cl click on the image not go to full node and just overlay it onto the page and dim out everything else um well among other things that's what we're going to show you how to do today we use the drupal lightbox module and the reason why i say the drupal lightbox module is that it um lightbox is a technology for doing this kind of stuff that's basically based on a, a javascript library that it is just a way of building it in drupal now i must highlight that this is really easy and it probably isn't the, the smartest way to do it but hey i don't know much javascript and uh, if you don't know much javascript or none at all then uh, i i would recommend using this using this mo module especially if you don't have a very very high traffic site so if we go to drupal.org slash project slash lightbox2 it's based on jQuery, obviously. And uh, I just went through some of the coolest features. It can deal deal with image sets. It has a uh, ability ability to show parts of the websites in in Lightbox. You can skin the light boxes, which is the actual um bit um that is in it you can change the login so that your login form or your register form is in what we call a light box you can use keyboard shortcuts to navigate if you've got mot multiple images and obviously there's some really uh, cool transitions as you see in a minute now I'm not going to go over everything today because um because i'm just i'm just not because there's way too many features but i'm just going to show a basic scenario where you might want to do this so let's say we want to go from that small preview to that without having to change the page and using javascript and make it ourselves look like a pro that we can code all that custom JavaScript. Well, I'm going to show you how to use the Lightbox module to do that. Um, so let's bust in. The first thing we're going to do is go where we normally go to administer our modules. And the first thing to note is that I'm just using the image module. I'm not using image field. I normally recommend using image field, but I just wanted to get this is really a quick and dirty way of doing it. So I've got image and image attach enabled and all I'm gonna do is enable the light box too. Save configuration. And now it's not going to work 
automatically there's some configuration we have to do. So we're going to site configuration and then light box. We see that we have a few options. I'm just going to go over what each one is. Firstly, on, on the general tab, we have use alternative layout, which you're going to want to check because this is just going to optimize everything so that it's um, done. So, you, you uh, might want to do galleries that continue what you want to do you probably wouldn't want to open image in a new window you might you might want to change this text instead of view image details uh, to view full story if that was just part of the and this is a bunch sort of about video can't you probably gonna wanna d delete the place to the original download link because you probably don't want that when you're so we're going to delete that and the next thing we're going to do is might want to set page specific things um, we're going to set to one only load light box on specific pages because ideally you only want to load this because of what you need because it is lightweight but there's still quite a lot of extra JavaScript. Um, here's the bit where on the model form settings where you might want to enable a light box around your contact form and you might also want to uh, enable con light boxes around contact forms. You can also have light boxes for videos, but I'm not going to go over that. And I'm going to save configuration. You can wrap HTML comment in content in light boxes. You can do slideshows, and you can obviously have default width. Image handling, you can pull it, it, things in dynamically, which in my case, all I need to do is go into the image node and select light box. And I want light box to display in the light box the full image size, but I want that when the user clicks I want the image that the user clicks to be um, the thumbnail image so that's what's going to trigger the thing And way back in the general settings somewhere, I believe there's a way to skin it. Yes, there is, and you can change the keyboard shortcuts. And yes, JavaScript has keyboard shortcuts. You can even change where the JavaScript is. I, I hadn't noticed that before, but here's the important bit you can change the skin ah. so I'm just gonna set it to 
half the border size. And that's a lot more than you need to do, but I just wanted to give you a look really. And now, if we click that image, it shows in a, in a light box, the one that we've selected. And as you see, it says, view full story. And if you click that, it goes to the full mode. So, that was a little look at how to use light box. And this didn't work last time I tried it. But if we log out, and... Go back. To our user. That that obviously doesn't work. But that was just a quick demo of how to use Lightbooks with Drupal. It's really, really cool. As you saw. And you can use it for doing slideshows. Things like that. So that was Lightbox. And I hope you enjoyed.